Candidate 1, please step forward and raise your right hand. You are the expert witness about to give testimony about yourself. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Telling the truth is one thing, but I have seen so many candidates go overboard sharing information, which is frankly none of our business. I once asked a candidate why she was interested in the job. She said she was getting a divorce and wanted a fresh start. She then proceeded to share personal details about her impending divorce, including infidelity with a close relative. The tea is piping hot. Disclosing the wrong information can ruin your chances of landing that job. Here are eight things you should never reveal in a job interview. Watch this video to the end and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. One, too many personal details. Many candidates share too much private information, which can be job deal breakers. We are evaluating you to see if you are a right fit for the role. We don't need to know that you are going through a messy divorce, dealing with family drama, or that you are struggling financially. Revealing this can jeopardize your chances as it will only make us wonder if your personal life may affect your performance on the job. It also shows a lack of emotional intelligence or self-awareness. Of course, you want to show you're personable and that you're a good fit for the company's culture, but please keep your answers on a professional level. What I have noticed too, is that some individuals may ramble on or overshare information simply because they are nervous. You can also check out my video on how to avoid interview news. This can help. Two, you dislike your colleagues or previous employer. Don't criticize or complain about a company or former boss. Even if you have great reasons for leaving that job, it won't reflect well on you. The reason being, you are the common denominator. In spite of how much you feel, you were in the right, it doesn't come across that way to us. We are wondering if you will badmouth us the same way or you are someone who is difficult to work with. Anyways, that is your past and this is your future. Why would you bring this in the interview which could ruin your chances of going higher? Stay positive. Three, this job is only a stepping stone. I had a candidate who was doing well in the interview to the extent that I shortlisted her. Then she says this, this one phrase will kill any interview. It's like telling someone, you are awesome, I'll marry you, but I'm out as soon as someone better comes along. <laughs> Would you marry such a person? <laughs> Giving any indication of not being a long-term employee is a red flag. Additionally, admitting that your goal is to get your foot in the door suggests that you have low commitment to the position. Hiring is an expense, and we don't want to waste time and resources to go through this process quickly again. Of course, not every job will be a lifetime commitment, but you can't start off saying you are using an employer for your own benefit. You are going into a position. Just give it your all this attitude will shine through. Four, you don't think you have much experience. I say this all the time. Most jobs can be learned and many job postings are just wish lists. Don't plant seeds of doubts in the interviewer's mind. A good attitude and willingness to learn can trump qualifications depending on the role. You were selected for a reason. Believe in yourself. Instead of focusing on your weaknesses, try to focus on what you have to offer, your strengths, and how the skills you do have will add value to the company. What makes you stand out from other candidates? When answering questions about relevant experience, make sure to include transferable skills that will be beneficial to the role, such as strong communication skills, 
emotional intelligence, creativity, teamwork, problem solving, and leadership skills. Five, revealing medical issues in the interview or telling employers about a disability. You do not have to disclose any illness during the interview or hiring process. Of course, if you have major medical issues that affects your ability to perform your duties, your employer has a right to know this. Legally, employers aren't permitted to factor disabilities into their hiring decisions, provided that a candidate could do the job with or without reasonable accommodation. If you require reasonable accommodation, wait until you have an offer. By waiting, you're significantly lowering the possibility of facing hiring discrimination. What about pregnancy? You still do not have to disclose this as you are technically protected under the Pregnancy Discrimination Act. Each country will have different employment laws to so know your rights. Six, I want to start my own business as soon as possible. I can't tell you the countless times I've heard this in interviews. Many candidates think this will impress the interviewers. Yes, entrepreneurial aspirations are admirable, but if you're looking for a job working for someone else, you should probably keep this to yourself. Employers want to know if you're interested and will be committed to the company and new rule. If there's any doubt that you're only there to collect a salary until you can do your own thing, you're unlikely to be considered for the job. Thank you. Next. Seven, disclosing your current or previous salary. Never disclose this. When you are interviewing for a job, the salary you earned from a previous employer is not relevant, except as a negotiation advantage for the employer. These questions are illegal to ask in some parts of the world, yet it is still asked by some employers. Here is a sample answer you can give. My previous employer considers employee salaries to be confidential in nature. So I am unable to disclose this personal information to third parties. However, if you can share the budget for this position, I can confirm if my expected salary is within that range or not. Need more help on answering the salary expectations question? Please check out my video, What are your salary expectations? Where I go more in depth. Eight, sharing your personal views on politics. It is fine to be passionate about politics. However, it is a bad idea to bring this zeal into the interview process. The hiring manager may formulate stereotypes about you if you favor a certain politician, or it may just make for an uncomfortable conversation if they don't share your political opinions. If this comes up in the interview, kindly let the employer know you don't discuss politics at work. When you are interviewing, focus on winning over the hiring manager based on your skills, attitude, qualifications, and definitely not on who you voted for. <laughs> it is important to ensure the impression you are leaving with the interviewer is memorable for the right reasons. In conclusion, don't be hard on yourself if you slip and say the wrong thing. If it's meant for you, you will get it. Just do your best and let God do the rest. Until next time, thanks for staying to the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my very insightful videos. Have a great day.